Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Hey guys, it's Trithika. Welcome back to my channel. I've been in Kolkata the past few days and in today's video, I'm going to be exploring Sundarbans. So I've wanted to visit Sundarbans ever since I studied about it in geography in school. The place really fascinates me and since I was in Kolkata, I thought I have to make this happen. I'm doing a one night, two day trip with this company called Tour de Sundarbans and we started our journey from Kolkata early this morning. We're halfway there, we're taking a break now and the journey has been quite nice so far. I'm actually traveling with a group. I'm alone but uh, this is like a group tour so there are like 20 people in the group and I'm traveling solo. Most other people have friends so hopefully I'll also make some friends during this trip so the entire journey is about three four hours long since we're halfway there I think we still have two more hours to go the drive has been quite beautiful and I am very excited about Sundarbans and hopefully we'll get to spot a tiger as well so we're done with the bus part of our journey and we actually had a van and right now uh, we have to take a ferry and go to the island. I will keep on searching for my eyes. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. So we're in the ferry now and this journey should take us about an hour and a half. So we're in the delta between Brahmaputra and Ganga rivers and the ride is actually really beautiful. You can see a lot of like fishermen and people on boats and it is so beautiful. The weather is also really nice. So we have made it to the village where we're going to be staying. This place looks so nice and I think we all have mud cottages so let's go check it out. Jumping from cliffs so high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down. So this behind me is my cute cottage and let me give you a quick tour. So this is what it looks like. There's a bed, that's all my luggage. There's a table there there's also a mirror and let's check out the bathroom okay the bathroom is quite nice this is the bathroom so this is the setup it's actually quite decent and i'm only here for one night also i forgot to mention earlier but the price for the tour that i'm paying is 4200 rupees and that includes everything like transport food accommodation so i think it's actually quite decent i'm not sure what the other travel companies are like but because my brother booked through them and he was quite happy with his experience i thought i'll book with them as well but anyway they've called us for lunch now i am starving so let's go get some food so i wasn't expecting so much variety here with the food but we've got a whole plate of meal there's four different types of sabzis there's rice dal papad and pickle and the food is so good we get up and start from the ground and i i really want to know really want to know if i let figure out where the road goes so we're done with lunch and our program is actually a bit tight right now we're going on a village walking tour so the village we're staying at i forgot the name but uh, we're just taking a walk around this village and checking out what there is to see and this place is so beautiful and so green and so peaceful you can say i lost my mind i will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down MJ who is our guide and he just gave us a lot of information about uh, Sundarbans so I thought I'll just get him on video. So all I know is like Sundarbans is the largest mangrove forest in the world. So let, tell us a little bit more. So uh, here we have the largest mangrove ecosystem in the world. So this in Indian side we have total 102 islands. Mm -hmm. Out of that, 54 islands people live and the rest is totally kept So 65% of uh, yes, uh, Sundarbans is in Bangladesh, right? Yes. So and the rest of it is in India. Is in Indian side. Indian side, total 54 islands people live mm -hmm. and the rest, 48, is totally kept for the wild. 
and so, we are on one such island and the name of the island is Sajjali Sajjali and the name of the village I kept getting it wrong it's called Sukumari village Sukumari village yes. yeah sky is falling down also MJ tell us what the best time to visit Sundarbans is so actually there is no best time to visit Sundarban every time is best time because <laughs> every season has its own beauty we've just been walking around this village and i absolutely loved it i wish we had more time here because the vibe in the village is so nice it's so peaceful but anyway i think we're going to go on a boat ride now and the sun is about to set soon you can see the sun in the back there So we've almost made it to the boat and this is actually my second time visiting a mangrove. The other ones I visited were uh, called Pichavaram in South India, then near Chidambaram and those were beautiful. Uh, this is of course much bigger so I'm very excited for the boat ride and to go inside those narrow mangrove lanes. So this is our boat, quite a tiny boat and the sun is about to set soon. It looks so beautiful. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. So we're back from the boat ride and we're taking a little bit of a chai break. There's chai and there's some pakoras and there's some music playing in the background. So the plan for the evening is that there's going to be like a musical performance and then we're going for a night uh, boat ride as well so that should be fun but right now we have some free time and I have some work to get done so I'm just gonna work now and have a lot of tea because it is so warm and nice Also guys, lately I've been trying out this new phone. A bunch of people saw me use it and came and asked me what this is because this is such a cool phone. So this was actually a gift. This is the LG G8X ThinQ and uh, I needed a secondary work phone anyway. So I thought I'll uh, try this out and see if it works for me. And it is so awesome. So the coolest thing about this, wait for it, is that it has dual screens. So it has two screens. I have literally never seen this on a phone before. So it is very cool, especially for working because usually I I hate replying to emails on my phone because I don't know somehow I need like a laptop type thing and when I'm on the go it becomes so difficult so this is very convenient because I can have uh, hold on let me show you actually so this is what it looks like and uh, I can have like the same app on both screens or different apps on each screen so for example I can have YouTube open on this the network here isn't the best honestly and I can have like the camera app open on this and Look at that, so cool. There are like two different screens and this is so fascinating. I'm still not over it. I thought I will use this for work, but now I'm just using it for a lot of other things as well. So I've been loving playing around with this phone. So anyway, uh, I just thought I'll talk about this and I'm going to get back to work now. So I will see you guys later in the evening. This has been such a lovely evening. I've just been chilling around, got some work done. There was amazing music, really good food. There was kheer, that was so cool. And right now we're going for a night safari in the river in the night. It's going to be completely dark uh, and we're going to take the same boats we took earlier today. So this should be an interesting experience. Also, it is really cold. I didn't come very prepared. These are the only things I have like this jacket and this. So wish me luck. You feel my head. Back in my room now 
and that boat ride was so much fun. I couldn't really film much because it was honestly pitch black. The few shots I got were because of the moonlight, but it was so beautiful, so peaceful, also really cold. But the best part was that at one point there were these planktons in the water and they were sort of glowing in the dark and that looked so cool. I tried to capture it on camera, but unfortunately I couldn't. I think that was the best part and the boat ride was so much fun. We have a very very early start tomorrow. We have to leave at 6.15 a.m. So I'm gonna go to bed now. It is so cold. I haven't gotten enough clothes. I'm just using this to keep myself warm. So this is gonna be a very very cold night and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, it is super early in the morning, it's like 6am right now and the sun has already risen, I look really sleepy, I'm having some tea, uh, so the plan for the day is we're gonna leave this place now for good, I feel like I need more time in this place because it's so beautiful, but uh, we're gonna go on a boat ride for the rest of the day, it's gonna be like a bigger boat, I think like a ferry and we're gonna be going into the jungle, we have to get permits from the forest officer I think so the company I'm with will organize everything and then we will go into the jungle uh, try to spot some animals hopefully spot a tiger the Sundarbans are really famous for the Royal Bengal tiger which are said to be man-eaters and very ferocious it is hard to spot one but hopefully we will get to today boarded the ferry now and it's the same ferry as yesterday and this is going to be our home for the next 10 hours. permit and we're about to go into the tiger reserve so it's quite a massive reserve and there are about 102 tigers here I think so if we're lucky we'll spot one other than that we're expected to see like deers and wild boars and stuff and crocodiles so that should be interesting also it is very cold right now even though the sun is out and about it is very cold so we're having some tea so we aren't able to spot that many animals it should get better after 12 so uh, until then we aren't really spotting too much although we spotted like a deer and a wild boar and a bunch of different birds so that's pretty nice okay I think we just spotted a crocodile and we're just chilling now not really doing much because it's high tide waiting for it to be low tide or soaking in some sun and chatting with people also this phone guys has been such a conversation starter i was just taking a bunch of photos and people noticed the two screens and were very intrigued and came to ask me what it was so i feel like i've made new friends now because of this phone so that's awesome i think lg is making some really amazing innovative products so that's really cool it's only 10 30 a.m it feels like it's 2 p.m we're going to be on this boat till about 4 5 p.m today so we have a long day ahead of us and hopefully we will spot more animals along the way So we're at stop number one and this is called Dobanki Camp. So we have to walk like half a kilometer now and there's going to be a watchtower and hopefully we'll be able to spot some birds and animals from there. So 
I'm on top of the watchtower and this is the view and in the pond there you can see a lot of whistling ducks. I didn't even know such a thing existed but the noise you hear that's coming from them. We also spotted some wild boars and a couple of other types of birds. Sometimes you can also spot deers and tigers here. Also I'm such an idiot I didn't know I was going to come to Sundarban so I didn't really carry my zoom lens so I'm feeling really bad because I'm not able to take like good close up shots but nonetheless I'm really having a very good time here. This place is so green and so so peaceful and nice. second and final stop for the day which is also a watchtower so so far we haven't really spotted that many animals to be honest we saw two crocodiles uh, a couple of deers and the other animals have been pretty uh, common for indians like monkeys and stuff there are monkeys here as well so on that front it's been a bit disappointing but hopefully from the watchtower we'll be able to see some stuff but nonetheless the boat ride has been so beautiful these mangroves are massive and so gorgeous and also there are monkeys here look at that we could sweat all through the summer and the winter we could freeze i'll be there through it all let your side so go on leave the way so we spotted two deers one wild boar a kingfisher some kites a bunch of different birds uh, a monitor lizard so this spot was actually really nice just checked into my room tomorrow is actually my last day here i'm flying back to mumbai tomorrow evening and i have a whole separate vlog from kolkata so do check that out and about sundarbans it was honestly such a fun experience i was kind of skeptical about going alone because i don't know i just felt like i wanted company but then i pushed myself to do it alone and i ended up making a lot of friends it was so beautiful so peaceful so massive and although we didn't really end up seeing as many animals as i would have liked uh it was still such a wonderful experience i think uh, the village where we were staying the campsite the boat ride that we did around the village that was beautiful the night ride that was i think one of my favorite parts just boating through the mangrove forests they were so beautiful and the weather also in the moment i felt really cold but looking back now it was actually quite pleasant so i really enjoyed it so yeah overall it was a very fun trip i'm so glad i ended up going if you like this video be sure to hit like Leave a comment let me know what you thought of it let me know if you also want to visit Sundarbans uh subscribe to my channel press the bell button and i will see you guys next time bye